Welcome to Game Cola's 2021 The End Day Celebration. In 2018, I did a comparison of the original Japanese God Slayer against the official Crystalist release from 1990. I had planned that project out for a couple of years, but of course, the moment I release my translation, somebody else releases a ROM patch with their own translation. A lot of you have been asking me to check it out, so for 2021, here we are. For the most part, it's a pretty solid translation, which means that it's mostly the same stuff phrased slightly differently, so it's not really worth making a full three hour playthrough video or whatever, but I did have a few things to say, so let's get started. We start off with kind of a preview of what this translation is going to be like. The original game literally says, in English, the end day, right? And here they are changing it up, even though that's not what it says. But you know what? I'm gonna give this one to them. After playing the entire game with this translation, comparing it to my original comparison video, uh, to see what the Japanese and original translation said, I realized that their goal wasn't the world's most literal Godslayer translation, which was kind of what mine was. Uh, their goal was more crystalless, but it sounds better and makes more sense. Uh, while maintaining the intention of the original Japanese. And that's actually pretty cool in itself. Uh, so anyway, yes, October, the month, the general time period, the end of days. The next one is an issue with my own translation, and it kills me that I published the video like this. The correct translation is windmill. That's what it says in Japanese. I have no clue how I got Lighthouse in there. It's not even a mistranslation, and it's not really a typo. It's just me sitting there going, oh, you know, that tall building with the spinny thing, you know, yeah, that. Anyway, the next line I had some trouble with. I couldn't really tell you who's right. Uh, my translation is literal to what was said, but probably misses out on some context of an idiom that I'm just not familiar with. So, who knows, maybe they're right, maybe I am. I couldn't tell you. Oh, the orcs. In Japanese, they said some gibberish, which I translated as is based on how it sounded, uh, while they decided to make it more English-sounding gibberish, which is cool. I don't really have any complaints with this, just uh, something to note. I was a little disappointed that they didn't keep the speech style that was present in Japanese uh, after you got telepathy. Um, in Japanese, they had very inarticulate, stilted sort of speech. Uh, it would have been cool if they'd kept that. Looking back, it's a little silly that I kept the name Big Four. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the commentary, but Shiten no, or the Four Heavenly Kings, is a concept in Japanese. Uh, I'm fine with Tetrarchy, that's cool. It means four kings? Why not? I mentioned in my video that I had trouble with the Tokimeki no Dampu translation, and I went with Throbbing for the sake of being literal. Uh, but I can agree that this is probably more accurate to the actual intention of the original Japanese. Sometimes I question why changes were made. In this case, the soldier says we in Japanese, but they translated it as I. Again, I guess they're trying to make the text a little more natural, uh, but it seems like a silly change. Oh hey, they named him Evans too. I just thought that was neat. In the end, fig flute is maybe more accurate than flute of lime but it doesn't make much more sense to English audiences than the original translation. I'm not sure what they really could have done, because bodaiju or holy fig tree doesn't make much sense either. Maybe holy tree flute? But even that doesn't really make much sense at a glance. I'm not really sure what to do with this one. But I guess with my video, I had the benefit of being able to sit down and explain the context on things like this. You don't really get that with a ROM hack. This next line I disagree with a little bit. I think they're just trying to clean it up, but it's a bit awkward when you help him, and then he says, my debt has been repaid in full, and then he gives you the ring. Uh, I'm not really sure why they didn't just translate it directly as it was in Japanese. Oh, and I'm wondering about them sticking with shield ring. It's not really a direct translation of Mikawashi. I wonder if there are technical limits on the equipment name length, because they did this same thing with a couple other items. Either that or they didn't want to risk guessing about an item's name when some of these names are kind of goofy or esoteric. Oh man, this is one that I totally overlooked. Her name is definitely Athene. Ah, she, ne. I just had it in my head that her name was Athena, glanced at it and said, yeah, that's about right, and just never noticed that it was different. 
It's an interesting point, especially in the context of the SNK characters' other appearances. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, Kensu and Athena appear in other SNK games. Notably the NES game Athena, pronounced Athena in Japanese, and as a character in King of Fighters, where her name is pronounced the same way. Uh, speaking of which, they decided to go with the SNK official spelling here of Kensu, it's spelled for some reason the French way? Kenso, but pronounced Kensu? Kind of gross to me, but technically not wrong from an SNK canonical standpoint, so I'll give that one to them. Yeah, this one is another example of the translators trying to make the script make more sense rather than being a literal translation. Uh, the name Akuryoto, uh, or literally Evil Spirit Island, uh, just has like a goofy B-movie vibe. Uh, we're just saying, it's teeming with evil spirits. Sounds more natural. Uh, I'm not really against this one. This next one is interesting because there's some additional context. In Japanese, the name is Mitoshi no Megane, uh, which in Crystalis is translated as just eyeglasses, um, and I translated very literally as see-through glasses. You know, because you can't really see through most glasses, right? Um, I'm not sure why they decided to go with sight goggles, but in a uh, quest for more information, uh, I did some additional searching and stumbled across the X-Ray Specs in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the original name being Mitoshi Megane. Uh, so who's right? Definitely not Crystalis, that's for sure. Uh, I think mine's fun. I guess sight goggles at least says more than eyeglasses. But maybe X-Ray Specs is the one that works best for English audiences. Now this one I really liked. Uh, in my translation, I went with, is everybody happy? But looking back, I'm wondering why I translated it that way. I gave context to the meaning in my commentary, but I feel like, are you feeling it? Does a better job at capturing the feel of the original. I can forgive this next one because sometimes the Japanese really go out of their way to make things difficult to translate. I'm not entirely sure where they came up with shiny, but I can tell you where I came up with my own translation. Uh, basically, after my dictionary search didn't come up with anything good on Tsune Tsune, uh, I put the phrase into Google image search and came up with all these pictures, including the Dalai Lama pinching some guy's cheeks. Hopeta means cheek, and Tsuneru means pinch, so if you kawaii Tsuneru into Tsune Tsune, uh, I'm pretty sure I got what they were going for, hopefully. Oh hey, we translated the line the same way. High five! This one's kind of funny because it's a scenario where they went with a more literal translation while I took a more artistic approach for some reason. Uh, Kirisame so uh, does literally translate to drizzling herb. Um, but it sounds a little confusing in English, um, so I went with Dewdrop Grass, which I feel like gives the visual that they were looking for, um, but they're not wrong with Drizzling Herb, so I'll accept this one. Oh, and immediately following is another one that's difficult to translate. I appreciate their simple solution. In English, you might be able to make a funny voice to sound more elegant and ladylike, but it doesn't really come across in writing. In Japanese, you can just add wa to the end of the sentence and hey, you've got instant lady speech. But that makes things difficult to get the point across when the character accidentally speaks like a man and then changes to sound like a lady. Uh, their version sounds more natural than my translation here. I just thought this little bit was funny. You can tell they did their translation using an original Japanese Godslayer ROM and not a ROM of Crystalis. Uh, because you still can't enter Chiron after talking to the guards. Oh, here's one where I was just wrong with my original translation. Even the original Crystalist translation got it right. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know about Sword of Bolt, though. If you don't want to go with Sword of Thunder, Sword of Lightning would work. Uh, I think again, it seems like there's a 15 character text limit on item names, so maybe they wanted to emphasize Lightning, but couldn't fit it, so they went with Bolt. Oh well. I'm not sure why they went with this one, though. Did they think the story made more sense if Azteca really did know what sort of power Messia had? Uh, they were pretty explicit in Japanese that he didn't know. Eh. I made enough stupid mistakes in my own translation. I'll give them this one for free. 
Speaking of stupid mistakes in my own translation, yikes. I really goofed up on this one. Kensu definitely tells you that they were saying it's a weapon. Moving on. Oh, here's another one that maybe they ran out of space. They went with quick ring instead of quick draw ring or quick shot ring. Eh, close enough. These next two, for some reason they skipped some lines? Not sure if that was intentional or what. Um, I'm not going to try to say we missed some incredible plot lines, but still a little odd considering that the ROM patch didn't shy away from adding new text boxes to fit the lengthened translation. And that's it. We made it to the end, at least of uh, you know, my commentary on their translation. Honestly, I'd like to congratulate the team on a great job. Uh, I've put a link in the description if you're interested in downloading the patch. Uh, very cool work. Now I don't have to uh, try to make my own ROM hack of this game. Um, it was pretty good. I only pointed out the parts where I thought it was uh, an interesting difference from my own translation. So yeah, go take a look uh, and enjoy the rest of your end day.